So Liam, you're, you're in the Ring of Honor of playlists for practice. Man, that was a mess today. I don't know what happened, I guess. I guess my playlist didn't make it up there, at least a full one. So, but it was good. So you didn't mean to play King Von three times in a row? I mean, I, I hit up the old line I said, hey, send me some songs. And then towards the back end, I put some country stuff. But practice was short today, so it kind of got cut off. But it was all good. So you don't feel like you got a full representation of who you are as as a music connoisseur? <laughs> yeah, music connoisseur. Uh, no, I would not say so. That was not my personal preference, but it's what the guys in the O-line room want. You know. Uh, some Tyler Childers, some Zach Bryan, some sl slower stuff, some Turnpike Troubadours, like bluegrass country. So. William, did, uh, has either Matt Applebaum or Mike explained to you why they think left guard going back to May and into obviously now, why left guard they believe is the best way for you to help this team now? You know, they really didn't explain that. I kind of got a phone call and they're like, hey, we're going to have you try this out and maybe some other spots. So, you know, I've stuck so far, so I'm just kind of focusing on that and, you know, trying to improve every single day, work on my footwork, my hands, and, uh, you know, clean up my pass pro and, you know, everything that comes with playing a new position. We get practice player of the day so early into a transition to a new position. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was a great honor. I appreciate it from, you know, top down. Um, but, you know, I just got to keep on improving, you know, every single day. You know, new stuff pops up today that didn't happen yesterday. So it's kind of got to go back to the basics, back to the fundamentals and clean it up. You, you have obviously most of your experience in Notre Dame, obviously tackle. Is playing guard easier? Is it similar in terms of, of how difficult it is in assignment? I would say assignment based. I mean, you need to know the offense regardless of what position you're at. Um, you know, I'd, I'd say center probably has the hardest job with IDing everything from, you know, mic points, from pushing to pulling everything. But, you know, at guard, it's it's just different. You know, it's it's closer. I got a guy to my left, Amma, right now. So I'm trying not to step on Connor and Tehran, definitely not Tehran. And uh, it's just, it's a whole new feel. So I'm just trying to figure it out day by day. Are, are you feeling like your skills are well suited to playing guard? Yeah, yes. so I think I'm getting better every day. So I'm just going to keep moving in that direction. This off season, has this offseason been easier for you, being able to kind of hone in on one position compared to last year where you were, I mean, you basically played every position but center, right? Yeah, um, I would say so. I think it, it makes it a lot easier with this offense. I think this offense is, for me personally, a good fit. Um, it's kind of similar to what we did in Notre Dame a little bit, you know, running off the ball. So it's been going well. Um, I would say the biggest thing this offseason is kind of, you know, not going through that draft process and kind of being able to work out and not train for like a 40 bench press, stuff like that. Just kind of getting strong and, you know, eating eating better, putting on weight, stuff like that. Did you reach out to Austin to uh, learn about his experience in the same transition last year? I did, yeah. We uh, we talked about it for a little bit. He just said, you know, it takes time. You just got to, you know, I've, I've been trying to listen to Connor because he played, you know, left guard in Dallas for so long. So. Whenever, whenever I have an issue, I just go right to Connor and then Teron's there and, you know, Teron, you know, he's been around for a while. He knows, he knows a lot about offensive line position. Hey, like what's it like to have these, I'm sorry. Yeah. What's it like to have these guys, Teron and, and Connor, people with experience because, you know, before it was, you know, Jesse Davis and even his experience was not as much as these other guys. It's definitely nice having two guys that have played for other teams and, you know, going into their second contract. Uh, especially Connor played left guard, and then Tron, he's played tackle, and he's also been around such great guards. Um, you know, I love Jesse. Jesse, I thought, did a good job for us, but it's definitely nice having two of those guys instead of one. You can have more eyes, you know, more uh, information. Do you feel okay learning a new position with these shorter, faster practices, or does it make it harder? I think it's great. You know, we have, we have walkthroughs, we have feet meets, you know, during the meetings, you know, just kind of running it through my mind and everything like that. So I think it's been good, and then, you know, I'm still on the no car grind, so that's uh, that's all good. But it's been fun. It's been good. Weight, weight wise, Can you say that again? Big Benogany said he stopped eating meat and became. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how he does that. No, I, I would lose about like 20 pounds in two days probably. No, I can't do that. Not at my weight. Not at, you know, the position I play. Weight wise, gained or lost from playing tackle. Uh, I gained about like six, seven pounds. That's a. Was that encouraged by Matt, or had you just felt it was necessary to play guard? I just think I, you know, put in the work in the off season. I was just lifting harder, lifting more weight, and 
kind of came on a little easy and then you know just cutting body fat and make sure I'm, I'm running but it's been good I feel good no car. you're on that no car grind no card no, no card. card like no cards okay, you know okay. for the plays no and like, yeah no 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 I mean my car was in the shop for about <laughs> two weeks you know shout out to Rob Jones for driving me around which is great <laughs> He drove me home twice last week, maybe last week. I think, yeah, he's great. You know, he's got that. I think he drives a Kia. I want to say, he's good. You know, no complaints for me. <laughs> we, we know, obviously, with outside zone having athletic linemen like you, Austin helps. Have you found it to be a help so far in practice having that sort of athletic skills for a big guy? I would say the biggest thing is, you know, the way we run this offense, you know, it, it, re it relies heavily on the wide zone. So, you know, teams have to honor it and it kind of creates that movement that you need for to run like other players, such as like power and like inside zone. So, yeah, I mean, I, th I think it helps, but it, it just comes back to what offense we run, which is, you know, wide zone. So. This is the Big O Show.